Hey, what's up, guys? Back again with another video. So this time I'm going to show you about switch statements. Um, they're basically like if statements, but it's different in the way that you can branch into different uh, areas of code, um, like easier maybe than you could do with if statements. Um, yeah. So last episode we learned about the relational operators, I believe they're called, for the if statements, and um, those return boolean values. But with this is more simple. You just uh, yeah, I'll show you. So, the switch is a little, little more complicated, but it's not too complicated. So to make a switch, just have the um, you're gonna need this the switch keyword, and then in here you're gonna have a value of sorts, and then you gotta open it up here. So for this value, you can have a number. So we're gonna have a uh, integer here. So we call it int um, int kd equals 12 so if we put 12 or kd in here it doesn't matter so they're both 12 so kd is 12 so that's the expression we'll be matching with and then so we're gonna have different cases so a case is basically like a, a different condition i guess you could call it and um yeah so we'll have case one so case um 11 and then that a colon and then you have the code that's inside think of this as a curly bracket right here like one of these so inside of here you can put your code that you want to happen that will want that you want to execute when uh kd is equal to 11 basically so if this is a little confusing you'll see it a second when we run it but yeah so oops so here we could say kd is 11 and then um at the end of this we have to have a break here that cancels everything of course if you don't remember so yeah, so then we have the next case. So if this one, um, oh, this is being weird. So yeah, case here and then case 12. And then we have the same thing, sout kd is 12. So if this one doesn't execute, then this will execute. And then if there's more, then those will execute. But if this one matches, then there you go. So the break keeps these from uh, executing if it already matches, basically. That's what the break does. It doesn't, it just stops it from keep going, basically. So, um, yeah, so we have that and we'll have a break here. I'm not sure why it's doing this. So case 13, this will be the last one. And then we'll have sal kd is 13. And then we'll break out of it. There we go. And then we have to have one more. This will be called the default, which is basically an else statement, but for the switch. So the default is what happens if none of these are matched, basically. So, you know, just like else. So, um, nothing was found to match KD. Okay, so if we run this, let's see what happens. KD is 12. So... What it's doing, it's running through each of these cases. Well, it's going to start here, and it's going to say, oh, case 11 is, does not match. So it's just going to skip to the next one, and then it goes to case 12, and it's going to say, oh, case 12 is equal to KD. So KD is 12, and then it's going to break, so it doesn't have to run these anymore. So, yeah. So if this one doesn't match either, or if this one doesn't match, and this one doesn't match, then none of them match, then this one will run. So let's go ahead and set this to, like, 15, and we'll see that the default runs. <clears throat> So there we go, so nothing was found to match Katie. So that's how you do that. Okay, so anyway, now that we have this uh, covered, um, this can also be done with strings. So if we have a string here, we'll say uh, Katie. So her name is Katie, right? So we could have um, a switch here. We'll have Katie, that's here. Oops, not int, string, right? So then we have to have these different cases. And uh, so we can have case Bob, Jerry and oops, Larry, Bob, Jerry, and Larry. I am so creative. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then um, I'm not sure why these things are right here, these little errors, but it's whatever. It still works perfectly. Um, they're more like suggestions. But anyway, so the default will say, um, fine, I'll just print out what her name is. And then we can say, Katie. 
So if none of these match, then it'll just automatically print out her name. So let's go ahead and set these two. So her name is Bob. Her name is, oops. Her name is Larry or Gary, oops. And then her name is Larry. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. Okay guys, so we have a little problem here. Um, switch statements before the JDK um, Java release, um, it can't, it doesn't allow um, you to use strings inside of Java, um, inside of the switch statements, I mean. So um, to go fix that, we could go to File, Project Structure, and we have to change our project language level. So we'll change it to, um, we'll change it to eight. That's pretty recent. Just make sure it's above seven or seven, I believe. And then click Apply. And this should work. Now it works because in Java 7 um, and up, they added the strings with the switch statements. So, yeah. So um, now we can use it. So let's run it. So then it says, I don't just print out what her name is because none of these match. So that's good. So, yeah, that's how we do that. So there's one more thing we could do. We can um, well, actually two more things. Um, let's say, hmm, we'll have another. Um, derp, 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 derp. We'll try this. So we'll get rid of this. We'll just make a whole new statement here. And we'll have a int month equals four. And then we could say, um, a string season. So, and then we'll have a switch here. We'll pass the month in. <clears throat> and so, if you know how seasons work, um, every couple of months has their own season, basically. Like, winter is, like, December and stuff. I don't really know. <laughs> and spring is, like, April, May, stuff like that. And then you have summer, which is, like, June, July, whatever. Yeah, I don't know that much. But, um, yeah, so what you could do here... Is you could say, depending on the case, if it's month four, five, or six, you could set it to have a certain season. Um, so if that's a little confusing, let me show you what I mean. So we'll have case 12. Case, oops, why is it doing that? It's so annoying. Case 11. Or case 1. Oh my gosh. And then case 2. Am I doing this right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then so... And then we have a season equals winter. So if any of the months are these three, um, which are, what's it called? December, I believe, January, and then February. <laughs> I'm not that good with months. It's pretty sad, but yeah. So we'll break. So the key thing here is that you can have multiple um, conditions and then get the same result, basically. So yeah, just process that. Maybe that'll make sense. Um, so then we can have the other ones. Uh, Case three, case four, case five. I'm not sure. Okay, so it automatically fixes. Good. So season is spring. So there's spring. And then we'll have case. Uh, oh, wait, we need a break, right? So break. So we'll have case. What's it called? Uh, case six, and then we'll have case seven. I'm happy it automatically pushes that down. That's good. And case eight, and then those will be summer. So season equals summer. And then we'll break, and then one more we'll have autumn, and then uh, yeah. So it's case nine. Case 10, case 11, season, I'll just say fall, I like the word fall better, not autumn, what the hell, um, and then break, and then we have to have our default, we don't have to have the default, but we're going to have a default, and the default could say, um, season, or no, out. that month doesn't even exist, so, if they put a number that's above 12 or under 1, then there we go. I'll print this out. So, yeah. Um, so, let's print this out see what happens.
nothing happens. Um, oh yeah, because at the end we need to print out what the season is. So, oh, not in here. Outside here. So we'll say south season season. So they'll print that out. So that's kind of weird. Um, we got a little error here because um, here let's remove what I did. So if we just have this to how we had it before, we play this. Or, yeah, we get an error here. And it says that season has not been initialized. So I guess we have to give it a default value. I didn't really know that. That's interesting. So we got to put null. That's just nothing. So if we give it a value of null, then I guess it works. Interesting. So we get season spring. So that's exactly what we wanted because we set the month to equal four. And then four is one of these three. So then we get spring. So let's uh, test it out one more time. We'll have it to five. So that's it within the same group. So I should again print spring. Yeah, so we get spring. That's pretty cool. Awesome. So um, if you remember the last episode or a few episodes episodes ago, we did uh, nested if statements where we could have multiple if statements inside one if statement. And yeah, so we can also do this with string. I mean, switch statements, which can get a little confusing because look how crazy this already looks. But um, yeah, you could do it uh, if you want to. But um. Yeah, I'm not going to go over that because it's just, um, it's the same thing really. All you got to do is declare another switch statement like uh, right here if you want to, you know, just whatever, same thing. And uh, yeah, so play around with that if you want to. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll help you. Um, if you want to see more, just subscribe and I'll be dropping a video pretty much every day. I know I missed one day, but oh well. Um, yeah, so leave a like, subscribe, and peace.